Hey everybody, I thought I would jump on here real quick while I have time before I get my little girl from preschool and let you guys know what my why is in this business. Um, my name is Julie. I have actually been a coach since June of 2015 and I could probably name about a million different whys as to why I want to run my business. Um, but really, my main why came about um, last summer. Um, last summer, my little girl signed up for uh, T-ball. So she was starting T-ball and she actually needed some new shoes for T-ball because she had probably three pairs of shoes. She had sandals for summer, she had her basketball shoes, she had some dressy shoes, and that's about it. Oh, she had some gym shoes too from the winter before for school. But we didn't want her to get, you know, you go play T-ball and you get all dirty and we didn't want her shoes to get messed up because we couldn't afford to buy um, new nice ones and the ones she had were, were nicer ones for school. So we went to Target to get her a pair of shoes and we go in and she found the perfect pair of shoes. They were so adorable. I still remember them today. They were pink and they had little butterflies on the side. Just little cheap gym shoes that she could mess up if she wanted. So she picked those out and she carried them around the store with her like this. She hugged them. She carried, around, carried them around the store the whole time we were there. So we walked around. We went and of course when you go to Target with kids you have to go to the toy section and you have to look at all the toys for a while. So we looked at all the toys and of course my kids always know that they never buy toys at Target when they look. They just look. They never buy because we basically, we for a long time we've lived paycheck to paycheck and they know that whether, unless it's a holiday, like Christmas, or their birthday, or some other holiday, or even on a special occasion, usually we would go to like the Dollar Tree and buy dollar toys. So they know that usually, unless it's a special occasion, we do not buy toys at Target. Um, so we went and we looked, and she was still holding those shoes really tight. Um, she was so excited to get those shoes for T-Ball. Um, and then we checked out, and we went out to the car, and um, she got them out and she was looking at them and she was so excited and um, I just happened to pull up my phone and I pulled up our bank account and I looked at my husband and I said, you know what? We bought those shoes just now and now we cannot pay our rent for the month because we bought those shoes and because we didn't check. So my husband, he um, he had to turn to my daughter and he had to, <laughs> I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> He had to um, tell her, "Sorry, baby, we gotta we gotta take those shoes back, and maybe we can get them next time." And just the look of disappointment on her face was enough for me to say, "Enough is enough." And a lot of times, it does take a situation like that to make you realize that enough is enough. So. And usually I'm not one to worry about telling my kids no, they can't buy something. But once you actually show them to her and give them to her and she carries them around the store thinking she's getting them and she takes them out to the car and thinks she's going to get to wear them and show them off to her friends and then you take that away from her, that it just broke my heart, literally broke my heart. And um, from that moment on, I, I actually had been working my business for about a year. But not not very seriously. So after that, I was like, I've got to get cranking, and this is my why. I now realize that this is my why. So my kids don't have to worry about stuff like that because they can see when we are stressed with money. They pick up on it, and they will take that with them into their uh, adulthood too. That money is stressful and money is not good. So I want them by working my business and by making money through working my business and helping people, I want them to be able to perceive that money is a good thing and a positive thing and not something to be stressed out about. So um, it's really just for my kids um, to help them to have a better future um, by having the money and a better perception of money. And um, I think I know by working my business um, that I'll be able to accomplish these things. So that is my main why. Um, it's, it always comes back to my kids, no matter what I do. <laughs> so whether it's day to day, them saying, Mommy, please don't go to work, please don't go to work. That's, that's just another why that drives me. But my 
when I when I don't want to work my business, that's how I know that's my why. When I don't want to work my business, when I'm too tired, what I think about is that day in the car when the look of disappointment on my daughter's face when we had to take that special thing away that we just bought her and we had to take it back and say, sorry, honey, maybe next time. Just the disappointment and it drives me to keep going. So you really got to find something emotional um, that has affected your life that makes you want to either earn money or help people or something like that. And that is, that's your why. And hold on to it um, at all costs. Post it everywhere. Do whatever you need to do. Pictures on your dream board. And um, just keep reminding yourself of that. And that'll keep you going. And that's my why. See you later, guys.